Have you ever been working in 3D via Composer and you've created a starting view and an ending view, but you wanted to have better control over when parts move and the paths that they take to get to their final position? Well, this podcast episode will show you how to take the views that you've created and use them to build an animation very quickly. You simply take your starting view and drag and drop it onto the timeline. Then you take your ending view and drag and drop that into the timeline. And now you have an animation between these two views. To modify and control the animation, you can do things like copy the starting camera position to the final position so that the camera does not move during the animation sequence. If you want to control when parts move during the sequence, you simply select the object and filter the timeline so you can see that this part starts moving at one second and gets to its final position at six seconds. If you want the part to reach its final position at two seconds, you simply take the ending key from six seconds and copy it to two seconds. Now Composer will start moving the part at one second and it will reach its final position at two seconds and will stay in position throughout the rest of the sequence. You can continue this technique on other parts. For the next part, we would like it to start here and end here. By copying the starting key forward to where you want the motion to begin and the ending key backward to where you want the motion to end, you can see how you can quickly control the timing of the motion. For the propellers, we'd like them to start moving here and end moving there. Finally, the last part will start here and it will end moving at six seconds. Looking at the animation, you can see now how the motions have been broken down and each part's start and ending time have been controlled. There's one more thing needed to complete this animation sequence. You can see that the propeller blades are not taking the correct path to their final position. With Composer, it is very easy to adjust their paths. You simply select the propellers, filter the timeline, and copy their final position backwards a little bit. Then, on that copied key, Simply translate each propeller into the correct location it needs to be before it moves into its final position. Now you can see that the propellers will move into the location that you just specified and then properly slide into their final position. This is how in Composer you can take the views that you have created easily add them to your timeline and quickly adjust each part as needed for your animation.